So hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. My name is Erica and today I will be doing my makeup inventory for the month of September. This is the first video I filmed all month. I'm going to be doing my makeup inventory. If you want a quick update, I will be giving this in the next few videos. My husband got COVID, I didn't get COVID, but he had it and I was just very paranoid that at one point I was going to get it because we live in the same apartment and one of our showers broke, <laughs> so we had to share the same shower. We had to share like the same bathroom and the kitchen and everything, but yeah, so I really thought I was going to get it, but I didn't, thankfully. And since both of us are negative, now I felt more comfortable wearing makeup and... That is why I have been makeup free for the past two weeks and I didn't really have that much progress to share but I figured I might as well just come on here and give whatever little updates I have. So let's get started. I'm going to be putting the photos over my face. Hopefully I remember to say previous numbers first before my current numbers. But I will be comparing these numbers to three months ago so I like to do these updates quarterly just to keep myself in check because you never know how much your makeup collection may fluctuate in three months and for me that was like an issue. I may cut these back to six months but I think for now three months is actually pretty optimal and it reminds me of how much I have so let's get started with eye primers. I had three eye primers and I currently have three eye primers. I believe these are the exact same so there's no change there. For face primers, I currently have four and I have tried two of the primers. I know one's a mini. I'm planning on taking it with me on vacation. I have actually two vacations planned coming up. I'm going to be going to Vegas with friends. So I have opened and tested the Glow Recipe primer which is the strawberry one. And I have also tested the Wet n Wild primer, which is purple. And I don't really particularly like either one of them, to be honest. Which means that it's going to be in a project pan. Because normally I really like primers. I don't know what the deal is with these two. The Glow Recipe one smells funny. And the Wet n Wild one, I feel like I'm just slathering water on my face. If I'm going to be real, I feel like it does nothing. So I don't want to waste these products because I already bought them and I don't want to be like, oh yeah, I used these a handful of times and I dislike them. I'm going to use it up completely and then never buy them again. But I don't know why I don't like the Glow Recipe one because it has such good reviews. But I, I really don't like the smell. It smells like carpet. <laughs> Moving on to foundations. I previously had two foundations and actually technically neither one of my foundations is a foundation. One's a BB cream and the other is a tinted moisturizer. Now have one foundation because right before I filmed this, I decided that I was done with my tinted moisturizer. Like, I do not like that product at all. I was trying to use it up by using it for like cosplay, but it is so gross on my face. I don't like it. It's quite heavy. It's a poor color match and I just don't like foundation in general. I do like the BB cream though because it is a much better color match. Like this year I thought I was going to be so tan because I was like, oh yeah, I built a patio set and I've used it probably under 10 times <laughs> and I was just inside all summer. I prefer the BB cream and I don't have that much of it left so hopefully I can get it out of my collection by the end of this year as well because I will just remind everyone of why I don't like foundation. It's like I don't like the way it feels on my skin. Color matching is usually very difficult for me because I get pale very quickly but I also get tan very quickly so I pretty much always have to be mixing and I don't have time for that and it wears very terribly on my skin with like no matter how much powder I put on or like no matter how matte the foundation is it just does not look good on my skin after like a few hours. It will just not make the day. Moving on to setting sprays. I previously had three. I currently have three. They are the exact same three. And well, there's just decreased amounts in it. But like I said, I'm going on vacation and I'm going to be taking my travel size ones with me. So hopefully I can use them up while I'm traveling but like I feel like when I go on vacation I almost never wear makeup. Moving on to powders, I previously had five powders and now I have 
seven powders and I was kind of wondering how I got seven powders so quickly like how did I get two more powders a few months ago I was like on a makeup shopping spree and not like a crazy makeup shopping spree I just wanted makeup for the sake of having makeup like to be able to buy it moving on to bronzers <laughs> I previously had six I currently have six they are the exact same six nothing much has changed in fact I thought I threw away one of them or like decluttered one of them but I didn't moving on to blushes I previously had 25 blushes which is a lot and I still have the same 25 I thought by now I would have like gone down in two because I'm working through two and one of them has a ginormous pan and the other one does not so but it is like getting really flat and I'm hoping to get them both out of my collection by the end of the year I'm currently on a blush novi because 25 blushes is ridiculously large like that's so much blush and I'm sure that I have like multiple dupes like I in fact have a backup for one of my blushes so I know there's a dupe Moving on to highlighters, I previously had 14 highlighters, and I currently have 14. They are the exact same 14. Not much has changed between September and June, I feel like. I just was not wearing makeup, was not buying makeup. Okay, moving on to eyeliners. I previously had 10, and now I have 9. So I did use up one. I believe it was a black eyeliner that was actually a sample. Not sample size, it was like a pretty substantial eyeliner from Urban Decay that I got as like a free... It was either a free gift with purchase or like a birthday present from last year. And I used that up completely and I did buy another black eyeliner but I bought that in June. So now I'm down one, which is nice. For brows, I previously had seven brow products. This includes everything from brow pencils to brow mascara, and it's literally just that. So I had seven, and now I have eight. I just added one to my collection, and both times I had a brow mascara, I, which I don't like. I don't like the Glossier brow mascara because I feel like it's essentially pretty useless for me because I have no brows and all that does is like tint your brows like darker which is kind of like like I need it to look like it's filled in which is why I prefer pencil moving on to mascaras I previously had four and I still have four it's the same four so there's no change but I think by next month or not next month by the next update I do have to swap out mascaras this is how I keep track of how long my mascara has been open, by looking at the progress photos. And then moving on to lip liners, I currently have one. I previously had one. It's the exact same one. I thought this would be out of my collection by now because it is so, so, so short. And I'm just hoping by December it will be gone. Maybe I'll put some on later today. But I can't believe it's held like on for so long. Okay, moving on to lipsticks. I previously had seven and now I have eight. So the reason why I have eight is because I got rid of my tinted lip balm section. I checked the dates of some of my makeup and realized how old it was. So I got rid of the milk uh, tinted lip balms, which is a shame because I really like them. I just didn't wear them, which is kind of like what was the point. So yeah, and then I moved my Clinique Almost Lipstick into the lipstick category because it has the word lipstick in it. I mean, even though it says it's almost lipstick and it's way closer to a tinted lip balm, I'm still going to include it in my lipstick category because I don't see a point in it having its own category anymore. And then, moving on to lip gloss, this is a little bit exciting. <laughs> a little bit. I previously had nine. And now I currently have seven so I went down in two and what happened was my lip gloss that I was working on the Fenty Glow Fenty gloss balm in the shade Fenty Glow which is a mouthful that one I was working on it for so long and then we had a heat wave and I think it just kind of spoiled the lip gloss like I sniffed it it didn't have that like sweet smell anymore the texture had changed like it was much more runny and I was like this thing is already like two years old 
I'm not going to use it anymore. But I was so close to finishing it, and by so close, I mean I had like a third left of it, which is essentially the equivalent of one normal lip gloss, so it's like I had used up two lip glosses before that point. I give myself credits for that for my makeup rehab or my low buy, but yeah, it was really disappointing not being able to finish it, but at the same time, I'm not going to put something expired on my lips just to finish it. And then I had a lip gloss that I kept at work, which is my Wet n Wild Coffee Cat lip gloss, and I was just, like, every time I see it, I'm just uncomfortable to use it, so I replaced it with a different work gloss that is already in my collection. It still smelled fine, but, like, every time I looked at it, it was, like, separating, and I was kind of like, Ugh. Yeah, I don't know about that one, so I'm just going to be decluttering it. Now we're getting into the exciting part, which I wouldn't get your hopes too high for this because... Well, I mean, if you're new, this might be exciting, but... I'm going to be talking about my eyeshadows now. So for singles, I previously had 14 single shadows. These are the exact same 14 that I have today. For quads, I previously had 3, and now I have... Three, the exact same but for palettes I previously had 11 and now I have 13 this makes no sense to me wait what the fuck My total number of products without eyeshadow, without including eyeshadow singles, palettes, quads, whatever, was in July 103. And now it's at 100, which means I've technically hit my like long time standing goal, as in like my goal for the past like two, three years of having 100 products or less, not including eyeshadow palettes, which is amazing. But I did also buy at least two eyeshadow palettes so it's like I'm still bringing makeup in but as I was like taking pictures and going through my stuff I was thinking like damn I have way too much stuff so I'm actually considering doing a no buy for the upcoming year but we'll see right now I'm still on a low buy but this was definitely very eye-opening because I was thinking of continuing a low buy next year but with more strict rules but I think I'm due for a no buy so that's everything for this video thanks for watching I hope you enjoy it and I don't really have any closing thoughts <laughs> I'll see you in December for the final update for this year bye